Hello, NSA. Uh, I wanted to make a video of me sending you what I've been sending you this entire time, which is the translations to Pinky and the Brain and things like that. And of course, these translations forecasted that President Trump was going to get elected, forecasted Martha Stewart, forecasted Bill Cosby, forecasted Uranium One, forecasted all of that NSA. And I'm being terrorized by illegal technology and an illegal technocracy, okay, for absolutely no reason other than I was in the United States Army and possibly because I brought a Russian home from Korea, which was legal, by the way. And she was murdered by the same technology. Now, uh, all of that was scripted because it's all in Pinky and the Brain. And I've, the, what I want to do is, and what I'm going to do here, is I've, I've dropped it on your IG, right? And uh, we are living out a script in a mind-controlled matrix while I'm being terrorized in my own home that violates every constitutional right that I have because electromagnetic technology, which can be found here, uh, NSA Mind Control and PSYOPs by Will Filer, which tells you all about Kurt Cobain and, and all of that. Now, I, I think there's some truth to this. All you got to do is watch Mercury Rising, which is really about the flu shot, right? Because uh, the, uh, the flu shot had mercury in it, which is poison. But see, the underlying message there was it was transhumanist technology that was in it. That it was Sputnik 2.0, right, NSA? So uh, <clears throat> so all of this here was uh, written by uh, Lockheed Martin E.T., okay? They woke up, uh, Martin Sheen woke up to mummy to kick the snakes out of the pyramid. Well, DARPA cloned me when I joined the Army, NSA. Now, this episode that I've translated forecasts everything you need to know about how big tech and Apple is, an, is involved in the puppet leader program, okay? And I don't know if that's what we're doing here in SA, is trying to prove that, but I'm tired of being terrorized, a citizen of the United States, by illegal technology because the government used my brain as a ping pong paddle to the cosmos, and you leached all the information out of my brain over the years, okay? And yes, Pinky in the Brain is custom to me, okay? My name's in there. My hometown's in there. My entire life story's in there, okay? That's why I'm capable of translating all of this so well. Now, I'm not going to read all of this, so you'll have to stop uh, and read it, or YouTube. But by the way, Steve Jobs, Jobs, Jobs was murdered by globalist so that Tim the news cook could take over and Applebee's okay this is multi-dimensional and proves that we've been living in a technocracy for a long time Applebee's was underlying symbolism symbolism that proves that there is a mind hive that is that was that Apple helped develop the technocracy and the Apple bees or the, the bees, the bee, you know, the honey bees inside this mind hive. Of course, they've tried everything they can to pass the buck off on Russia and China and different, and different entities like that, when truly we've been running a technocracy for a long time, okay? Now, uh, basically, this was to burn Apple, this episode was, and it was Lockheed Martin that in 1993 could forecast future, they're actually forecasting future events because their technology uses relativity, relativity, and ET in, works in conjunction with that technology, okay? And literally, they forecast. Uh, big tech controls the minds of their mind control victims in order to forecast because they're controlling the outcome. And that's all, that can be... Uh, you can learn all about that in uh, the Simulated Reality channel on YouTube. Just type in Simulated Reality, and it's a channel, and it tells you exactly how they do that. They cloned your minds, and your clones up in the Matrix, driving the meat suit down on the ground, okay? And it's obvious to me, because my mind has rolling encryptions, right? I've got a little extra uh, terrestrial technology that basically thwarts their attempts to turn me into a total robot android. And that's what they've done to the entire country. And that's how they election meddle. Okay. So you'll just have to pause and read all of this. All right. But this uh, this episode right here 
is all about how Apple is involved in this. And you don't ever hear anything bad about Apple, do you? It's because Apple's trying to pass the buck off on everybody else, okay? And they're very involved, along with Google, in making uh, puppet leaders. And, uh, and the entire Democratic Party is controlled by AI. They're all transhumanist, okay? And the, and the Republican Party are transhumanist too, but they just got a different brew, all right? See, the, the Democrats are dead. They're like totally gone, not even home like the media. They're completely controlled by technology. They don't exist anymore. They're just, they're one mind hive like the Borg and Star Trek. And the Republicans are riding a bicycle, which apparently that's illegal. I think people killing people is illegal. Like you've murdered the entire country by removing their soul and replacing it with a, a computer that controls all their minds. Just go ahead and read all of this, YouTube. It's all in here. And I'm the only one that seems to be capable. Oh, by the way, you want a stock tip? Yeah, this tech bubble is going to burst on October the 2nd. Okay, NSA? You want a prediction? There you go. Okay? And that's how that works. Now... What I'm going to do is prove, okay, it's kind of cut off over here, but I can assure you I just copied and pasted it. I'm going to prove that I'm sending all of this to the NSA. All right, now I'll show you something else, all right, uh, right here. Now, this whistleblowers perform an invaluable service. See, this is why I was tortured by the United States government, because I was blowing the whistle on some things like the flu shot having mercury in it. Well, when the technology showed up here, it made me blow a lot more whistles because it pissed me off when it tortured me. Okay? Now, you see the guy wearing the Army shirt here? Now, you see the guy over here with the basketball. And he's got a Washington shirt on with an Adidas. Adidas is symbolism for uh, Russia, a Russian gangster. Okay? That's what Adidas, Adidas is a symbolism for, Russian gangster. See how it looks like a pyramid, right? See how it says Washington. Washington's looking over at the army right here with this look on his face like, what the hell did you do, army? I'll tell you what the army did. They exposed all of you for what you are. You're all transhumanist frauds. And the symbolism in the street theater was de designed to perfection in this technocracy for me to point that out right now, right? And no, Washington, the ball's not in your court, okay? I just want you to know that. The United States regular army has all the guns. And if they don't hurry up and put an end to this shit, then y'all are absolutely insane. Okay? Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to... You can watch me hit send here. I'll go through. There's the crosswalks. Yeah, we're walking across. I always get the perfect ones. It's usually like a bridge or a crosswalk or something. Now, I verified it. I'm, I'm not a robot. No, I'm, I'm, everybody's a robot. Okay? <clears throat> All right, uh, NSA, I just, uh, on tape here, wanted the, the world to see me send you absolute solid information. Now, pinky at bat, right? And then the, there's a, two episodes here. There's a short episode at the end that I've translated. Spielborg. What are we talking about? What did I just talk about? Borg, right? Every single one of these episodes, once translated which is pretty easy to translate for me because the information was pinged out of my brain when I was a child. Like an oyster petting zoo. What's an oyster look like? See, most people wouldn't know what an oyster petting zoo is. It's a whorehouse, right? That's in one of the episodes. Let me show you something, YouTube. If you know how to translate this stuff, right, what does that look like? What's an oyster? What Now, what do you think an oyster petting zoo would be? And that episode that I translated was all about sex trafficking using this technology. You see how that works, NSA? And the entire script is in Pinky and the Brain. And in my brain, when I was a kid, I found my dad's stash of Playboys. And then I one day was at a restaurant, right? That's how all this gets pinged out of my brain. And I looked at an oyster and I was like, hey, that looks like a pussy that I've seen in my dad's Playboys. <laughs> now, that's why I'm capable of understanding the underlying code. Okay? And that's why I've translated all of these episodes, which forecasted President Trump was going to get elected in 1993. And I'm sending these episodes that I'm translating to the NSA to let them know that we have a threat. 
And what did the NSA order me to do because I have Army technology in me? They said, whistleblowers perform an invaluable service. If you see something, say something. Well, that's what I did. I follow orders, NSA, because I have Army technology in me. Now, you came here and tortured me for that. You see how that works? Martin Sheen woke up the mummy to kick the snakes out of the pyramid. At this moment, NSA, I do believe you're on that snake list. Okay?